Hello guys, welcome back to a new video. Today we're going to be doing an unboxing of the Bitaxe. This was sent by Bitcoin Merch. So if you guys do want to go get yourself a Bitaxe, there's a link in the description and you can go buy it from Bitcoin Merch down below. So today I believe that they sent the BM1366, which is the first version of the Bitaxe. And we're going to be adding it to our collection. So we have one currently running. They have sent over this plug, but I believe it's in the US plug, so we might actually need to get a different plug for it and start running it on a UK plug. So we're going to go through, obviously, the plug. We can kind of get rid of that. We are going to get a new one for that, so let's just move that to the side. So it does come with two things before we open that. We have a fan, so it's a portable fan, as you can see there, USB fan with the little Bitcoin merch text on there and then they sent over a bunch of stickers so let's unwrap them and we can see them fully so as i said we've unwrapped that so they gave us a little bitcoin golden coin here uh this is very cool and then we have a bitcoin merch sticker a bunch of cryptocurrencies on there bitcoin ethereum dogecoin bitcoin astronaut sticker and then a satoshi sticker as well as another bitcoin merch sticker so we'll be adding that onto i don't know a gpu or something and then the Bitcoin merch fan, as we said, I think it just goes in the top there. And then this spins right here, if we get it lined up. And then you just plug it in and you can move it around, like bend it like that way, whatever. Anyway, let's unbox the Bitaxe now and then get it all set up. So once we've unwrapped it, as you can see here, anti-static bag, I believe. And then we have the Bitaxe, so it's a 204 which I believe is the 1366, and it comes with this little card on how to set up the Bitaxe Ultra video. Obviously, we already know how to set this up, but you can just scan in the QR code, and it'll tell you how to set up one of these. Now, one thing I have seen is it isn't including the LCD display, so maybe we'll just have to look on the dashboard and see what we're pulling in terms of the, in terms of the hash rate and the watts. That are going through it but let's get it plugged in and set up so we just plugged it in now and obviously it's got to start up we will now have to connect it so it obviously is working because the fan has come on and now we'll have to connect it through to our wi-fi and then obviously we'll put it onto the dashboard and then we'll continue the video from there so apologies for that in the video i didn't realize that i had actually left this in the box so this is the LCD screen. I thought it didn't come with a screen for a second then, but it actually did. And we have to plug it in, obviously. And we're gonna plug that in and then we're gonna run it up and we can obviously connect from there. So then again, we've plugged it in and it's just connecting to whatever registering logs. I don't know what it's saying there. We try and connect into the SID. Maybe after five times, it'll say we try and I don't know whether we have to wait for a second because normally the other one didn't actually take that long. But there it says connect to SID and then we have to connect through that on the Wi-Fi and then we can connect our Wi-Fi up to this going from there. So now that we've connected it, it's actually given us GigaHash, the shares and stuff like that. Obviously the fan's not running particularly high right now, but we have to go in and actually change that in the Axe OS system. So let's go onto the computer and actually go through all of this. So we're gonna have this mining and the Bitaxe that we bought previously mining as well at the same time. I don't know how it's gonna look on the dashboard. Maybe they'll be separate, but we're gonna connect it to public pool and leave it mining Bitcoin. So as we can see on the Axe OS dashboard here, as we're looking at it, we have the model number here, BM1366, uptime three minutes connected, the power consumption, stuff like that, chip temperature. So I believe that they actually changed the Axe OS to not show the graph that they were showing. I don't know how you get that back, if there is any way to actually get it back. And then we go on settings and obviously we put our Wi-Fi in and then we have the publicpool.io, the stratum and port that we're importing to, and then our user, so this is our Bitcoin address, and then .bitax, just to show that it's a Bitax, and it shows up on public pool if you actually search that in, which we'll do now. So we take this right here, and we just input it into the login, and then we can actually see our worker right here. 
So average hash rate, if we're looking back here, let's go back to the home screen. We're looking at the average hash rate of 323. Obviously it'll give some time to warm up. Efficiency is actually very, very high at 35 watts per terahash. And the best difficulty is there. And then it also shows the shares accepted. So that's a new thing that they've seen. I believe that this swarm thing is to actually add your other bit axes into this as well. So on the other bit axe that we're using, this is currently the one that we've set up. We're getting around 332 giga hash. But on the other bit axe, if we added it in here, I just don't know the IP for it right now. But if we add it in, it would show both the hash rates here and then you can go in, edit, restart, remove. So you can kind of configure a bunch of them at the same time. When we look at the pool, obviously this is kind of like the axe OS that we've seen previously just then. And it basically just shows, you know, our giga hash. And then across, it looks like it's around 600 from what it's saying here, but I believe that this is from the first bit axe that we had going on. So the one that was already running, and this is a new one that's mining to the same wallet. So I'm not really sure how much in terms of the giga hash is actually from this new one, because the other one was running constantly. So we got this one running now. Obviously on the XOS, it shows around 300 giga hash. So currently on bitcoinmerch.com, this is showing around 425. Obviously we can go in and overclock these in the settings. I believe we did a video on overclocks and I'm still trying to dial it in for, for the 1366 version. So maybe we'll up it to 525 and then the core voltage. I believe if we put it down to 115, it'll actually give us the best efficiency overall, I think. So on here, you can get one on Bitcoin Merge. As I said, link in the description for that. It's around $120. It's fairly good in terms of the giga hash. The efficiency right now is currently better than what I saw on the super version that I have, but that's probably just to do with the overclocks. As you can see, we're probably going to have one tera hash. So we have 300 giga hash to around 400 on this new one that we got from Bitcoin Merge. And then the other one from Decentral Tech is pulling in around 700. So that gives us about 1.1 tera hash on the Bitcoin mining. So it's always good to add a little more hash rate to that miner. Obviously, as I said, thank you to Bitcoin Merge for sending it over. We're going to get them both mining at the same time. And if you do want to get one of these, link in the description, go buy it and keep securing the network. Make sure you like the video and subscribe for more content like this.